the warm-up, feeling the heat at Frickers. I'm Mark Koontz as we talk Van Wert Cougar football. Andy Lynch will join us momentarily, but first, let's check in with the head coach of the Cougars, Keith Rucker, third season now at Van Wert. Starting to feel like it's home for you? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the, the people here have been great, and, and going into this season, we have a, a ton of support backing us. Uh, our, our guys are on board, and you know, the, the group that, that were freshmen and sophomores when I first got here have stayed on board, and and really looking forward to this season. I know the wins haven't quite come yet. Are you seeing the progress on the field from this team? Yeah, and, and that's the, the thing. We went one and nine the first two years, so you don't see a difference in win total. But uh, last year played a lot of freshmen or, or sophomores and juniors. Uh, and the difference between the first year and last year is we were competitive in five or six games tied or up at halftime. And that wasn't the case the first year. And now those guys, as we've told them, are, are seniors and juniors. And, and physically better, mentally better, and, and looking to be much more competitive. It seems like last season you guys were able to put some points on the board, had a little trouble keeping the other team from scoring, but had the offense in gear last year. Do you think the offense will be able to continue that forward momentum this year? Yeah, we, we have some guys back that, that accounted for a lot of yards and, and things that we did, I think, up front. And, and what we tell those guys, that's where we're going to win or lose. And, and they've kind of taken it upon themselves, taken that challenge. and. And with the returners we have, with, with Colin at quarterback and, and, and a couple running backs and receivers, I think we're going to be okay. Colin Smith returning at his quarterback. They, you know, they say the best thing about sophomores is they get to come juniors a year later. He's got a year of experience running the offense, and he's really poised to perhaps have a breakout season. I think so. And, and a, a quick story about him, we were doing some throwing over the summer, one of our camp days, and, and one of our quarterback coach was out over, uh, over a receiver and said, I'm your read man on this route. And, and when I knew that he progressed to the point that we can really count on him, uh, he corrected our coach, said, Coach, you got to come in. You're over number two. That's my read man. And, and so watching him do that, uh, knowing that he has that kind of understanding with no defense out there, um, you know, he was great last year for us as a sophomore. We put a ton on him, and, and he took it and, and did a great job and just expect much of the same this year. Defensively, what do you have coming back? Uh, some good athletes. Uh, we, we, we switched up defenses a little bit, um, trying to figure out a way to stop the run. There were teams last year that don't run the ball and they ran the ball on us. So we had to fix that. We knew that, um, found a, a better way to, to do things, we think, and uh, moving some guys around and, and getting a, a free player in there that can come downhill and, and make plays in the run game. Um, you know, I, I really like where we're, where we're going defensively. We can get to the ball. And, and the big test, you know, last, yesterday we had Wayne Trace um, coming up. We have Versailles, we'll be an eye. So a good test for us, see if we can stop the run with it also. Special teams, you lose Michael Smelzer as a great returner for you last year. What is it, are there ways you're trying to emphasize things on special teams? We're putting a more of an emphasis. We put one coach in charge of it uh, and, and really try to solidify things special team wise. Um, like I said, we, got, we have some athletes, I feel like. We have four guys that were on a state track team. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some guys that weren't on straight state track team that are, are very good at, at basketball and things like that. So we feel pretty good with the guys that we have back there. You know, Bill Miles, a longtime Ohio State assistant coach, always talks about how when you have the athlete, you got to find the place to put them. So if you try to move some guys around to try and find the best slot for those athletes. Yeah, you know, with, with having four receivers, you know, we can move some guys around. We took one guy from outside, Nicholas Crew, put him inside, uh, kind of where we had Terrence Branson last year to to utilize his speed and, and a lot of what we're trying to do is find mismatches in the run game uh, and, and hopefully teams bring it down seven or eight in the box where then we can hit some of that outside screens and, and our quick game get it to those guys on the edge. We know a team's only as good as the line. What, what are your lines looking like? The, it's solid. Uh, unfortunately for yesterday we were out two starters and, and the two guys that were in there filled in real nice. They you know, weren't sure how it was going to go then watching the film this morning they actually did a, did a fairly good job looking forward to get those two guys back. And, and what that just does is as we get those guys reps is build the depth so we don't have to go as many two-way guys. But they're doing a great job. They work their tails off and, and looking, like we said, you know, we're going to win or lose up front. A lot of young kids playing the last couple of years. Are they now hungry to get Van Wert back up towards the, the top of the WBL? They realize the work that they put in for, for the last really three years uh, is going to hopefully pay off this, this year. And that's where, you know, those guys physically and mentally probably weren't ready to play varsity as much as they had to last year. Uh, but they did a great job 
with, with what we had in, in, in competing. And, and that's where just looking at our team this year, we're different. And, and again, I hope that shows up on the field. You look at the Western Buckeye League this season, so many different coaching changes. Is the league a little bit more wide open than in years past? You know, what What I've told some people is, is I could see us going 10-0 and 0 or 0-10. and 10. <laughs> You know, that's that's how tight our league is, I think. Uh, up and down, the, the, the coaches are great. Uh, a lot of teams have people back. So, you know, with us, there's no game that we're going to go in as the favorites, but there's no game that, that I don't think on our schedule that we can't win. Week one at home at Eagers Stadium taking on Brian. That's, you know, one of the, the traditional opener for Van Wert. What are you expecting out of uh, the Golden Bears? It, it'll be a different team. They lost, they lost a ton of talent. And, and, you know, when you make it to the state semis where they were, you know, obviously they, they had some players and, and they have some guys back that, that were on that team. I, I think they lost maybe seven or eight starters on both sides of the ball, um, but have a, a couple linemen back that look good. They, they scrimmaged Defiance yesterday and uh, had a good scrimmage, Defiance thought, against them. So that's going to be a tough one. Uh, but, but being at home, our guys look forward to playing in front of the wall, so we'll be ready. All right, Keith Recker and the Van Wert Cougars looking to make the playoffs for just the fourth time of the first since the year 2000. Need to take a break on the warm-up from Frickers. When we come back, Andy Lynch will sit down and talk with some of those Van Wert Cougars here in WOSN. We are back at Frickers and excited for the Van Wert Cougars preview show. It's the warm-up. Thanks to Mark Kuntz for that talk with Keith Recker. We're joined by a couple of the senior captains, Chandler Adams and Nicholas Krug, both linebackers and wide receivers. Nicholas, let's start with you. you got some AP homework to get caught up on here before the school year starts, but how's it feel to be in football mode at the first scrimmage out of the way last night? It's fall, right? It's fall? Definitely, um, especially with the weather last night. It seemed kind of like a fall game, but it, it's good to be in football mode. You know, we've been lifting all summer, and we're getting the first scrimmage was definitely a lot of fun, and we're ready to we're ready for our next scrimmage. To be honest, we're ready to get out there. So, what did you like from last night against Wayne Trace? Um, you know, we had some good spots and some bad spots today. We you know we watched the film of all of it, and we've definitely got some stuff to improve on. But there was also a lot of bright spots that we can keep keep working on. So. Chandler Adams, what was it like to finally play somebody else? It's, it's kind of a close school, so nice to I – mean, it's not just a scrimmage. I mean, it's Wayne Trace, so it probably felt good to go against them. Oh, yeah, it felt great. Um, the last month or so, we've just been out there practicing. You know, practicing against our same team, against our teammates, you know, hitting our own teammates. But eventually it's good to just go out there and be able to play against another team and be able to see what you need to work on and what you need to improve on and see your strengths and weaknesses and then so you can incorporate those. Um, and hopefully you're improving on that for your – Game one, week one against Brian for us. What would you say the, the strength of this team is right now for the Cougars? I would definitely say athleticism. Um, we're we're kind of small overall as a team, but I think our athleticism makes up for that. Um, we're Like I said, we're definitely very skilled at all our positions, and I think that's our best strength right now. Nicholas, you had such a great run in track this year. Uh, the relay team making it to state. Just what did you draw on that that's going to help you in the football season, you think? I mean, obviously the speed, you know, Chandler kind of touched on it with our athleticism. We have a lot of speed. Um, you know, mentioned that with some of our linemen, you know, we've got some strength to go along with that. So, I mean, we might be undersized, but, you know, with having guys on the track team and some guys that are strong enough to make do, we can, we can definitely use that in our games. So. Both these guys were part of a meeting we had for Fellowship of Christian Athletes. A couple students wanted to bring FCA back. We had 25 in that room that night. Just how excited are you to have that atmosphere for the Cougars on Friday mornings, Nicholas? I think it'll be a, a big boost, you know, morally for all the guys that show up. And I, it's definitely going to be good to get involved with that back at Van Wert. So. Chandler, I want to talk about Coach Hellman, who's been your chaplain last year, spent some time with you up at Oak Harbor when you guys went camping this summer. Just what has his presence meant? Uh, Coach Hellman's a great guy. He's helped me through a bunch of things. I know he's helped a bunch of our teammates. Um, he is a guy that came, he had some rough times throughout his life, but he persevered, and it just shows how through all the adversity that he's gone through that you can overcome many different obstacles. And like I said, he's just a great guy, and I thank him for everything that he's done for us and for me, myself. The Cougars looking to persevere and take the next step this year as they do open a home game against Brian before hitting the road against Ottawa Glandorf to open the Western Buckeye League slate. But when we return to Frickers, we'll talk with two more of the senior captains here on WOSN. It's the warm-up, Van Wert.
It is nice and loud here at Frickers, the Cat Pack Yards. We're excited for Van Wert High School football coming up in just a few weeks. We are here on the warm-up, joined by two of the big guys, Ethan Williams to my left, Nolan Smith down on the end. Ethan, we'll start with you because you are a dancing phenom, I am told. Tell us about this whole dance routine you have. Well, it basically started when we were helping our coach move because uh, we were just helping him out because he's moving back into Van Wert, so. And he brought some frickers, so I just started dancing for it because I was hungry. So. And so you dance all the time now? Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> how is this dance, uh, Nolan? How, how would you say his, his dancing skills are? Well, it's called the Chunkers Dance. Okay. And me personally, and I think the team agrees, it's pretty good. Gets oh. a good laugh. Are you going to do a game days? Uh, what's, what's the plan coming up here? Can we film it? Sure. All right. <laughs> I'm sure your family will be very proud of you. Yeah. Going to be a good right. time. Uh, I see a boot down there on the foot, Nolan. What, what's going on? You, you're hopefully going to get me back here before the start of the season, right? Yeah, I'm hoping to actually be back next week. Uh, I have a stress fracture, so he said just time, heal that, and hopefully back next week. How close is this group uh, of players? You've been through a lot together. You're seniors now. You know, what does this feel like, Van Wert Cougar family football? Well, I mean, a lot of us have been playing freshman, sophomore years, so we've been together for quite a while now. And we've just formed a bond through those years. So I think we're pretty good friends and teammates and hopefully do good on the field this year. Ethan, how have you seen this team come together under Coach Recker and his staff? I mean, we've came together from, I mean, it was obviously a tough start going one and nine. But even though we did go one and nine, we we're bonding together. We're doing a lot of team activities. And like we even, all of us hang out with each other outside of football, just bonding with each other. And we got a pretty close team. What are some of those team activities? I know you're camping at Oak Harbor. That was a pretty neat experience. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I mean, uh, we get to go to Lake Erie and stuff, go swimming, and just play volleyball and stuff like that. And just, yeah. Nice. Well, Van Wert's <laughs> looking forward to the season coming up. These big guys up front hope to pave the way. We want to thank Frickers once again for providing tonight's show on the warm-up as they open with Brian at home and then at Ottawa Glandorf, home for Shawnee and at Kenton. That's after two scrimmages coming up, Versailles this Saturday, and then at Crestview. So it should be a good county rivalry matchup there as well. I want to thank Coach Recker and his guys for stopping by here at Frickers. It's the warm-up. Van Wert on WOSN.